Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a little tutorial on how to do some paper ruffles. Um, now, someone had recently requested that I do some paper folding ruffles, um, just a little tutorial. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. Now, um, they are a little easy to make and you just have to kind of get used to making them. Um, I followed the tutorial from The Vintage Goose um, but yeah, I will be happy to show you how I do them. Um, now you will need a paper cutter and um, some paper or some vellum. Um, I have a few different things here. I have some star cardstock, some of the vellum from the 31 collection. So basically what I do is I just cut them at like different sizes. So uh, I try to do them around one inch or slightly over. So that way you have some like varying sizes. And um, so yeah, you'll just want to cut some strips. Um, the 12 by 12 or 12 inch strips are what I've found to be the best. Now obviously you can make them significantly smaller if you'd like, um, but I do again try to do 12 inch strips generally to uh, start out. Now I have made some that are a little bit smaller. Now this one is just slightly wider. Um, so I usually do like one inch or one, in, one inch and a quarter. Um, so I'm just going to cut a strip of each of these papers that I have here on my desk, uh, just some plain vellum as well, and um, I'll show you how to fold them. Now I won't be able to film how um, to sew them down the middle, but that's kind of self-explanatory. So once you have some strips cut out, um, what I learned from using the um, tutorial from Vanessa is to make sure you use your uh, cutting mat. So um, what she explained is that you can line up your paper on the lines on your um, cutting mat. So that's what I've done, just so you can kind of try to keep it straight. So what you'll do is you just take your paper and you just fold it um, like upright to where it, it's going to leave like a little bit of a bump. And then you fold it back and then try to keep it straight on the line. Now, again, this is not going to be perfect and that's okay because these are handmade. And then, um, then you just kind of repeat the process on your paper, just fold it up, and then back down. And you can do as many ruffles on your paper as you would like. Now this is like thicker cardstock, so I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot of ruffles on it. It's um, starting to get a little bit difficult to fold. Um, but you can see that you just fold it. And then whenever, uh, I will go sew it off camera, but um, but yeah, you just want it to look something like that. So let me show you on the vellum as well. So again, you just fold kind of upright and then you just kind of back fold your paper. It's hard to describe, but you just have to kind of practice. That's what I did. I just folded a bunch the vellum can um, tend to fold a little bit easier on you, so it can mess up sometimes. So you don't want to go up too far with your initial fold, but then you just back fold down. And again, you know, most of these are not going to come out looking the same on every one because, you know, you're probably going to vary your folds each time. Um, but... I think that's the, the fun part about it is because they're going to look different. So they'll each one will be unique. And um, yeah, with vellum, it tends to fold a little bit um, easier because it's much thinner, obviously. But again, you just want it to look something kind of like that. Hopefully I'm explaining it okay. But like I said, the best thing to do is just practice. That's what I did. I just folded a bunch of paper. Initially I was doing it really different and I think I've kind of started to get the hang of it now. So again, you just want to fold up and then back fold your paper backwards. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So um, fold this way and then this way. And then the same thing, you'll just fold up and then back down. And again, they're all going to look different and that's okay. These are handmade, they don't have to be perfect. And um, that's the fun part of it. They all just look a little different. 
So I'm going to go sew these really quickly just so you can see what they look like sewn. I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have them sewn, now obviously you can trim off the, the strings a bit, um, but they will just, I like to leave some of the strings, but I do tend to cut a little bit of it off. Um, so yeah, they'll look like that when they're sewn. And then um, here's the vellum, and that one's got some really long tails, so I'll cut that down quite a bit. And this is the uh, Frank Garcia paper. So again, you can leave that for some extra just texture or whatever. And then um, usually, I should have cut that down just a little bit. So then what you want to do is cut a fishtail. Um, I usually do this after I sew just to um, see how long the, uh, the little paper ruffle is. Okay, so it'll look like that. Now what I do is I just cut a little slit in the middle and then I just cut to that point and then I cut to the, other, the that point from the other side to create create my fishtail. Oh, see my my sewing machine tore this one, I didn't even realize. That's okay. It can still be used. I mean, these are mostly for layering anyway, so I'll use this one for layering and just kind of hide it behind something else. Um, and then the last one is this star paper, which I really like this paper. It's super nice. It's super heavyweight too. Um, but this is gonna be really cute for some Halloween projects. I think this one will be really cute with the Hey Pumpkin collection. It's sort of whimsical like that collection. But yeah, so again, super easy. And obviously you can use a straight stitch like I did. You can use any color thread, obviously. I just had black on my sewing machine. You could do a zigzag stitch. You can do anything you want. Um, just have fun with it. And like I said, just practice. These are a lot of fun to make. So um, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. I hope everyone's having a good week. And if you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing. I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye, guys.